It's interesting because I've thought about this a lot in the last couple of weeks, and there are two sides to this. And I, and so I'm just going to say that I don't fully disagree with Rosie because it is very, I was actually, when I heard that they blew out Finland 11, mm one -hmm. last week, I think it was, yep. I actually was really, I thought, wow, I covered this team, you know, in the Olympics 12 years ago. And Finland was so much more competitive back then. And all I could think of was this game, this sport, how isn't that too bad that they, that domestically, these other countries are not where Canada and the United States are. So when we talk about a, a competitive field, a competitive tournament, uh, it's almost, I, you know, I, I understand her point. Then on the but, flip side, though, yeah. we have people that will say, but we can't, we can't not have these teams that have worked so hard domestically, Canada, the United States, and have them not in the Olympic Games. And that when you put them on that showcase and you show the world what, what women's hockey is like at the highest level, that then the game just keeps growing for US and Canada and everyone can see the potential of it. But I see their point. I see the, the women's hockey, why they want to be at the Olympics. I get that point, but there is parts of me that wonder what can be done though to raise the game domestically in the other countries. And that's a whole other discussion because it's all down to culture. Yep. It's down to so many different factors that we don't have time to get into. But I, I really thought, wow, what happened to Finland and what happened to Sweden? Because they were much closer 12 right. years ago, 10 yeah. years ago. It's a yeah. two team race.